what's your take the first week of camp? I mean, uh, with Dontre Wilson coming in, things like that, what do you see the potential out there? Well, I think not just with Dontre, but with um, our returning guys too. Uh, they're they're better. Evan Spencer's better uh, through eight practices this fall than he's ever been in his career here, or at least since we've been here at, at Ohio State. And so, and I use him as an example. And there's plenty more uh, out there on in the skill positions. And then you you bring in some of the the fresh talent in Dontre and Ezekiel and um, you know the guys on the perimeter and, and James Clark and and uh, Jalen Marshall. And so you're able to kind of mix and match what you think needs to be accomplished rather than being handcuffed a little bit by the personnel that you've inherited. Yeah. I mean, the kid won the Big Ten Player of the Year last year and very well documented. I mean, he wasn't even close to playing at his potential. So, yeah. And he's still not. He's closer, but he's he's got so much more room for improvement. And every day we see growth after growth after growth. Uh, we completed more balls, not yesterday, the day before on Friday, in a third down scrimmage slash scenario uh, in a 10 minute, you know, 16 play deal than maybe we did all year last year. And so that was encouraging. And, and a lot of it had to do with him. You know, he's better, he's more comfortable, he understands things, he's patient. Uh, but a lot of it has to do with the improvement of our veterans. Uh, on the perimeter, the improvement of our guys up front, and then the, the influx, influx of some of the, the new talent. I mean, there were times last year where Coach Meyer was kind of critical that you could make a highlight reel catch, but there were maybe some routine ones that, that hit the ground. Was that a fair criticism or something that you noticed a year ago? Uh, I, I did notice it. You know, some of those passes that I did drop were, were passes that I should have caught. And, uh, you know, this whole off season. You know, after the season and up till now, you know, I've been working on making sure I catch every single ball, looking it into my hands and things like that. And, and uh, you know, Coach Smith and, and all the other receivers in that room has, has uh, made sure I did that. Was there a matter of maintaining focus on every play or, or something that you could identify was was maybe going wrong? Uh, I, I think part of the time was just a lack of focus. You know, when it was in the air, um, that, that I was like, all right, I'm going to catch it. And just took my eyes off of it. So, you know, this year I'm, I'm, you know, been working extremely hard, making sure I catch every single ball that's thrown to me. After what happened last summer, is this particularly special to you that you had that taken away from you last year with the injury? Yeah, and I try to, I try to tell that to the other guys too. Like, don't take this for granted. It could be taken away like that, like it did for me. I'm, I'm just glad I got another chance. That's why I'm so excited for this year. And do you believe that you will be the featured back and the like the H back? Uh, yeah, I mean we have we have a lot of guys on offense. Uh, we the more guys we have, the harder it'll be for a defense to prepare for an offense. Uh, and as fast as we're going to go, I mean if we do what we got to do, it's, it's going to be crazy out there. What's the biggest difference in the running backs this year from a year ago? Um, as a group, we have we have a, everyone in the running back room can play. I mean, if someone goes down. It, it's not really that much of a bump down to the next guy that goes in. And, um, it's a competition. Coach Dre lets us know there's a competition. He tells us all the time that no one has a starting job right now. So everyone is going hard as they can. What did you work on fundamentally in the offseason practice? Oh, yeah, the whole offseason, I just worked on my whole fundamental wise. Because last year, I felt like it was like a D plus. And this year, um, I was working on the whole offseason and getting things together and getting situated with that is just. It's unbelievable how far I came from last year. Coach is it said your you guys footwork? Ran. Is that the biggest thing you work yeah, on? Yeah, this is my footwork. Yeah, basically, this is my footwork. Coach said you guys ran a lot of a, almost like a pro style single wing offense this year, last year. What percentage of the offense was available to you last year as opposed to the percentage that you think is going to be available this year? Uh, say percentage wise, I'd say like 75. I'd say 75, but this year it's going to be all, all in my hands, like 100%. You know, you got new guys coming in, new guys can make plays. and. Get the ball in my hand, get into different type of playmakers. A lot of people are saying a lot of good things about you, Braxton. How do you handle all that? Uh, you know, just just keep keep it humble. You know, level headed, and you know, just stay out the limelight. Is that difficult to do? Uh, you know, not no, I don't think so.
You're surrounded by probably 100 people here. <laughs> all y'all my friends, though. <laughs> <laughs> so we all good. So, I, you know, I just be humble. You know, just go about my day. And uh, just a normal guy outside of football. Is it hard not to think about a Heisman Trophy type of a campaign or a season this year? I mean, obviously it's only August, but uh, you're one of those guys that everyone's mentioning. You say you stay humble. Is it hard not to think about those things, though? Uh, you know, it's always in the back of my mind. But uh, I got 10 other guys on the field with me. I just want to make them better to the point that, you know, we can go farther in the Big Ten National, you know, Big Ten title. So to get everybody better around me and be a good leader I can be. What is it going to be to make everybody happy getting them the football with so many playmakers? Man, I know. It's a lot of guys. It's, it's like, I say, six running backs and a lot of receivers, backup, good backups. And, and you. So how do you, how do you balance that? <laughs> uh, I just do my best. You know, I don't practice. Get everybody the ball I can. You know, they come open, get them the Brock, and uh, see what they can do with it. You know, it's the closest decision at the end of the day.